encourages in the fact that we are attracted to our partner for unresolved issues that we have from our childhood and the potential of that person to be uh, to be able to help us close it or like resolve it, I guess, you know, but then yes. how like you, I think you mentioned something like that, Kathleen, and, and, and now we're going like all on another tangent, but it's kind of related, right? Um, when we and then some some of us keep choosing the wrong partner, right? Like so we keep like trying to close that loop. Uh, and maybe we shouldn't close. I mean, how does that go then? You know, if we are yeah. attracted to the person who's going to help us complete, but then it's not. No, just so to answer that, like Kathleen was saying, you know, that we have this unconscious image that is like a, you know, a, a sonar device, right? That it, it can, it can sort of sniff out who's going to match that unconscious image. And, and so there we are, right? If we, if we could have been conscious about it in the beginning, maybe we would have said, I'm running the opposite direction. But, but the, because we're not conscious, here we are. And then like Kathleen was saying, you know, in the beginning, we're fully alive, right? The other person is bringing out all the, our, our full self, right? You know, all the parts of ourselves that we had dismissed or, or set aside, or, you know, now we're fully alive and, and you know we're we're connected, and and then usually six to eighteen months, it starts to change, and um, and and the you know this person that you didn't fall in love with is next to you now, and and vice versa, and so so the thing is is that if you when couples can um, take the step or they're willing to take the step or able to take the step to really begin to see their partner as, as their teacher, as the person who is going to teach them, help them, help them grow, help them, you know, heal. If that can happen, then what ends up happening is each person in the, in the relationship will heal those old wounds and, and in a sense become their best self, right? And so when you imagine, right, when they're, you're both doing that, it, you be, you, you, your whole relationship changes because you're different. If one person or both people <clears throat> can't, for whatever reason, or don't choose to get on that healing path, then I, I think about it like a puzzle piece, right? So if I, if I choose not to, to take, you know, to move into a, you know, a journey of, of healing and growth, then the puzzle piece that I had from my childhood that I came came into this with <clears throat> is is still going to match the opposite puzzle piece, right? Which is that pure form of, you know, what Kathleen said, right? The the you know positive and negative characteristics of my caregivers, all those unresolved wounds, all that stuff. So so our job each of us, right, is to do the work of growth and healing so that we don't keep attracting the same puzzle piece. We won't, you know, if we, if we change, if we're a puzzle piece and we change, we're not going to attract the same people. We won't. Right. And we won't feel comfortable with the, with the, with the people we, you know, from that old, our own old level of growth and healing. Right. 